Hello and welcome to our coverage of this Adobe Women's FA Cup fifth round match between Tottenham Hotspur and Charlton Athletic from Brisbane Road. A London derby to decide who makes it through to the last eight then. Leicester City booked their place earlier today. Now these two cross city rivals face off for the right to join them. Spurs were beaten in their Conti Cup quarter-final on Wednesday night, so this is their last shot at silverware this season. Charlton are vying to join them in the WSL next term. They currently sit top of the championship, but are putting their promotion ambitions on hold for the day as they seek to progress in the competition they won back in 2005. Let's have a look at the team sheets then. Spurs showing four changes from the side that started that midweek defeat. Becky Spencer gets the nod in goal. She's won this competition twice. Luana Bula comes into defence for Amy James Turner. Grace Clinton makes way for Olga Eitanen in midfield. And captain Bethany England returns to the starting lineup in place of top scorer Martha Thomas, who's on the bench. Charlton make five alterations from the team that began the draw with Lewis last week. Regular cup keeper Jessica Gray returns in goal. O'Rourke, Ross, Aisi and McGowan also come in. Angela Addison plays against the team she left to join Charlton in 2002. Should be a good game this one. Charlton going really well in the league. So it should mean that they come here with confidence of getting a positive result. Looks like they're taking nothing for granted against the team in a higher division to them. And as for Spurs, well, they're looking for some improvement on Wednesday night. They didn't manage a shot on or off target against Manchester City. No wins in three in all competitions for them, although two of those were against City. Bethany England and Kira Skeels are the respective skippers tonight. Lisa Ben is our referee. Charlton have already made it through a couple of rounds to get to this stage. They hammered Bournemouth 6-0 away from home in round three before a 4-1 victory at Ipswich, which set up this tie. So 10 goals scored. Just the one conceded thus far. Trying to go a step further than last term when they were knocked out at this stage by Birmingham after extra time. And that is a possibility again tonight. Extra time and penalties. We do need to have a winner here one way or another. Well, Spurs have already overcome championship opposition once in the competition. And they did it the hard way. They were 2-0 down with 20 minutes left against Sheffield United. Needed a 96th minute winner to progress then. Before the game as ever, the players take a need to reinforce the message there's no room for discrimination in society or in football. It will be Tottenham to get the game underway, kicking from right to left as we look at it in the first half. Wanting to start on the front foot after disappointing in midweek. Here's Clinton. Keep it on quickly. Nilden. Well, we saw in the first quarter-final, which you might have enjoyed with us at lunchtime, the championship side, Birmingham, take a shock lead, a minute and ten seconds on the clock when they went in front, but they couldn't hold on to it and were eventually well beaten 6-2 by Leicester. Let's see what the disparity between these two teams is like. Get the feeling it might be a closer game than the one we saw in Burton earlier. And Sumanu. Clinton on loan from Manchester United for the season. Nice little flick down the line. It's going to result in the first corner of the night. It's gone Tottenham's way. Olga Eitan and the Finland internationals come across to this near side to send it in.
pretty muddy over on in that section of the ground. Hopefully that won't affect her ability to send the set piece over. It's a teasing ball, wasn't it? And that's glanced off the crossbar. So close to an opening goal. Is it Bethany England who got the contact? This is Tellers. Beautifully flighted delivery. I don't think it was England, actually. Jessica Gray, grateful to the frame of her goal for coming to her rescue. She has started uh, both rounds in the competition so far. Gray, given the nod here again, head of Sham Rogers, who is the regular league goalkeeper. Some progress over halfway against their old club, but stopped in her tracks by England. Sophie O'Rourke in at left back tonight for Charlton with the throw in. Oh, she was caught there, O'Rourke. The referee with little choice but to give a free kick. best showings in this competition successive quarterfinals a couple of years ago in 2021 and 22 beaten by Arsenal heavily on both occasions as of Arsenal and Man City are going out tomorrow and that will open it up a little bit although Chelsea still very much in it they host Crystal Palace a game you can watch live on the FA's social media channels as well as on FA player and this for the last three seasons in succession will there be a new name on the trophy these two hoping that will be the case. Charlton with a storied history. I mentioned they won it in 2005. They were runners up in 03, 04 and 08. That 05 victory, given them the courtesy of a goal by Enia Luko. Karen Hills, their coach tonight, was in the side that day. It's a big day for her returning to the team she managed for more than a decade. Took Tottenham from an amateur club to a WSL concern. with old friends tonight but hoping to get one over on them here's Aisi now Bula be careful with the pressure from Kaylee Barton just a little bit too much for uh, Wang Shuang to be able to get on the end of the through ball. Is Molly Bartrip is at Charlton as a youth player, so another player reacquainting herself with familiar faces tonight. Such a nice pass out left side for Clinton. And Clinton looking for the nutmeg, draws a little tug on her shirt though, so Spurs will get the free kick, which is taken quickly. Grant's picked it up. Here's Bizet. Well, as you would expect in these early exchanges, Tottenham dominating possession. Already hit the woodwork. Now you see, she's got an important job, not just in front of goal, but trying to hold the ball up and get her team into possession for either you see. Very experienced player, the number nine for Charlton this evening.
Isimane. Did well to keep her team on the ball there. Schwang was favourite to win it back just for a second. Rowe clipped it in field first time. It's a nice passing from Charlton. McGowan. Misha and Dow all the way back to a goalkeeper, but this is what Charlton wanted. First time they've been able to put a sequence of passes together and just frustrate Tottenham a little bit. There's a hopeful cross which was pretty comfortably dealt with. Simanen doing well to make sure McGowan couldn't pinch it. Oh, good run here from Amanda Nilden. England pointing where she wants the cross to go. And he's behind for a corner. Decent delivery that it was actually in the area where England was pointing, but then she made a run toward the near post, so they've just gone over her head. Well, they struck the crossbar from the previous corner, Tottenham. What can they produce from this one? Fang Shuang not in a huge rush to get over there. Still getting familiar with her new teammates. The Chinese international with well over 100 caps came in from racing Louisville in the January transfer window. Post, you'll get the chance to try again. Sent deep this time. Able to deal with it. Clinton worked it back to Schwang. Reverse ball down the line should just be kept in. Indeed, it was. then England waiting for the delivery again goalkeepers poured it away but only to Bethany England who can't believe she hasn't scored and Jessica Gray is the most relieved person inside Brisbane Road it was unconvincing from the Charlton keeper and England normally gobbles those up Well, two big chances have come and gone for Tottenham in the opening 11 minutes. They give Charlton some encouragement, but they can't keep presenting opportunities to their opponents. Nilden. Clinton will have to go some to get there ahead of Endow. 
Not giving up though. Here's a goal kick. It was a valiant effort from the Manchester United Loney. She actually scored for Bristol City when she was on loan there last season in their promotion clinching win against Charlton, Grace Clinton. I don't think that was what Kira Skeels was intending to do. from Gray straight at Wang Shuang but again Clinton again, heavily involved in the early stages. A little bit scrappy at the moment, though. Chance for Charlton to threaten for the first time now, maybe. And they've got themselves a corner. Partrick doing the defending to make sure that Barton's cross wouldn't reach its intended recipient. in this competition and the winner in 2017 with Birmingham won it with 2014 with Arsenal headed towards goal London got her head to it too and Dow would love another corner and the touch was slightly heavy Charlton managed to keep the ball though Addison's cross One back and the handball comes to pop the arm. Of, uh, Mia Ross. First time that Charlton have got anywhere near Becky Spencer's goal, though. And Charlton in danger of turning the ball over needlessly. And Dow got it back to a goalkeeper and she's had to shovel it out into the stands. Chase on here for Barton. Managed to put the pressure on Bartrip and force her to put it out for a throw.
obviously putting the pressure on there. Almost managing to pinch the ball back in a great position. Tottenham confident in their ability to play out from the back. Knighton and going all the way back to Spencer. Here's Bula. Clever. No, can't quite get the pass right. In the end, it's going to be a Charlton throw. Gowan trying to spin her way into a shooting position. Spencer alert to the danger though. And quick to get Tottenham on the front foot again. In a good spell for Charlton. And Spurs respond. Nilden. Oh, that is the easiest decision of the day for the referee to give a foul against Tegan McGowan. And telling off that comes with a final warning too. For the 19-year-old. the free kick England Grant wanted it cut back to the edge of the box instead the cross is deflected Schwann couldn't get enough on it Play down for Charlton inside the penalty area means you need to stop because it's a head injury Quick to offer her apologies. Let's have a, a look back then at how that injury occurred. Both had to go for the ball, didn't they? But certainly a painful one for Beth Rowe. Let's give Charlton the chance to get some instruction across. You see Karen Hills there with the white trainers on giving the orders. Mixed emotions for her, I'm sure, today. Mainly excitement coming back to face her old club. I think she'd be pretty pleased with how the opening 20 minutes have gone. Rowe makes her way off the pitch. She looks okay, but it's up to the medical team to decide whether she can continue. She'll have to stay off for 30 seconds regardless. Too close. And Dow pumps it long. And Barton looks at her and says, What am I supposed to do with that? Is Bula. Wang, clever ball. Nilden always a threat down this left-hand side. Really keen to get forward whenever she can. And she's again, or Clinton rather, I should say. Nilden outside of her. Clinton trying to shake off McGowan. Here's Simanen. Clinton's got it again. Oh, lovely way to pass that for Bizet, who goes for goal and fires it just over. Great move from Tottenham, though. Couldn't hit the target. 
perfect way to pass from Clinton. Decided not to take a touch. Easy play goes on though. Schwein did well to find Nilden. Here's AEC again. Look at the Charlton free kick. That's tackle not a fair one according to referee Ben. Grant, England ahead of her, Schwang too. Trying to steer it into the path of Nilden, I think. Is Grant, the uh, Australian international, another January signing for Spurs. Coming from the Swedish side, Vizio. allowed Clinton to win it back, managed to work it to Endow. That's the midway point in the first half. Charlton holding their own so far. Happy to play it between themselves. Just for a second there, there was an opening for Kaylee Barton. And she's on the ball again, Barton. Again, Charlton's turn to exert some pressure. Have they got the quality to really threaten Spencer's goal, though? to receive the pass back from Aisi. Clinton took the throw in quickly for Spurs. Exactly come flying out the traps here. The WSL side might have been different had that early effort gone in rather than hit the crossbar. Samanen with the switch. Fall by the bounce of the ball. Here's Addison. Longhurst couldn't 
keep it in the control. Really poor from Spencer. There's been a lot of unforced errors in the opening 27 minutes here. Ross playing it forward. Again, heavy touch that time from Addison. Aisi. Be a Charlton free kick. <laughs> Mentioned Frieda Ace, he has won the cup before. She was an unused sub in the final in twenty fourteen. 2017 when Birmingham were beaten. Love another visit to Wembley, of course. Doesn't look like Ais is lining up a shot here. She's got plenty of targets in red to aim at. Floated it deep to the far post. Too deep for Longhurst to get on the end of. Wrestling possession back. Here's in doubt. Oh, Sumanen left it uh, to a teammate there, and Charlton could profit. Aisi, surely that's a foul. Well, this is a free kick in a brilliant position. Sumanen and Knighton and the two Finns in one another's way. And it's a yellow card. Can Charlton turn this into a goal? Simon and the player whose name was taken. She's going to have to tread carefully for the rest of the game. Well, surely this time Aisi is going to shoot. And Dow's there just offering her some advice. Fair old ball she's got to get round. Four plus one in it. Get it on target is the minimum requirement here for Frieda Aisi. Circumnavigate the wall and test Becky Spencer. It's a good opportunity for the championship side this. Aisi hit it straight into the wall. Better ball in second time round though. And header from Skeels who'd stayed forward. To generate her own power, very, very difficult to really threaten the goal. Bula. Our 
Patrick working it out to Nilden. Schwang outside of her. Bula. It's going to be a corner. Won by Bizet. Fourth of the half for Tottenham. London. It's not bad conditions for football though. It's not particularly windy. Away was the cry and away it went at the near post from Beth Rowe. Bula. Simanen, everybody in a Charlton shirt back in their own half of the field. And an easy decision for the referee to give the free kick that time. A little nudge in the back of Clinton. in the game. Simanen, Bula, now Bartrip, and Spurs find a way through this well-organised Charlton side. There's two, well, one bank of four, one bank of five to try and work their way through. bit blunt in attack at the moment Spurs communication between Gray and her defenders there. They will get punished for that, Charlton, if it keeps happening. Here's Bula, the Swiss international. Over halfway by Barton. Less than 10 minutes in the first half to go now. McGowan couldn't quite keep it in. Trying to do their best to rouse Tottenham. A bit of a sleepy performance from them so far. More of the ball, but not done much with it of late. Maybe Schwan can do something about that. Eitenen. Here's Bula. Space over on the right-hand side. Bula again. Clip the cross in. Oh, it wasn't a bad ball, was it? Just a little too high for Bethany, England.
Right on, in a rush here. Well, that came off Schwang's head, that'll be a Charlton throw. I wonder if it might be worth Charlton trying to play out from the back because Gray's kickings look pretty suspect thus far. Lucky there that that resulted in a Charlton throw rather than a Tottenham one. There's not any real need for Schwang to get ahead to it. Barton. Grisette got herself tied up in a knot. And did well to get a toe to the ball. Schwang likewise, no foul. Broke kindly for Charlton. Bartrip did not appreciate that challenge. The referee is going to have a word with Kayleigh Barton. That's in the veteran midfield. He's just changed her surname from Green. Kara Skeels, the skipper, walked over for the telling off as well. That's a really clever ball for Barton. Got numbers forward here as well, Charlton. Barton needs to pick the right pass. And she only found Simanen. Here's England now. Bit of space for Tottenham, maybe. England making her move, but look at Schwang. Bottom of your picture, she was the player in space. Offside. Nominally five minutes of the first half left, but we'll have a decent amount of stoppage time because of that on-the-pitch treatment with the head injury to Beth Rowe. Well, how's that for a chipped attempt from Bula? The keeper confident that uh, it was always going over. Worth a go. Would have been a spectacular goal. out Milden back from Schwang Is Ross serving up Beth Rowe? Rose continued to run. Get the shot away though. McGowan. Charlton looking to finish the half with a flourish.
Chuang. Did commit a foul, even though Madison was happy to play on. Gowan, Longhurst, Gay and Charlton might get themselves in trouble here, trying to do things delicately. Look in the end, forced to turn it away for a throw. Samanen doing well just to nudge her off the ball. Bula. Rather Eitelin. Here's Bula. Now Bar Trip. Nilden, Schwang going to go for it. Decent opportunity by the standards of this game. Couldn't test Gray with it. Good play from Nilden again. A couple of touches to set it for Schwang, looking for her first Tottenham goal. at the end of the first half. Simanen. Milden driving. Getting a pass wrong, trying to feed it through to Grace Clinton. England's touch off. England will carry on a run here. Just about time to take the free kick. Good one as well, switched out to the left. McGowan couldn't control it. And that will do for the first half. Charlton Athletic holding their own here against WSL opposition. A couple of chances for Spurs early on in the game, but they've been largely frustrated by the away side. And at half-time at Brisbane Road, it is Tottenham Hotspur nil, Charlton Athletic nil. 
Let's take a look back at how the first half unfolded then. And this was right at the start of the game, as close as we've come to a goal header. Glanced off the crossbar. I'm not sure if it was England or Suman, and he got the key touch. And then England with a really good opportunity to make it 1-0. Jessica Gray relieved there after her punch didn't really get the job done. All Tottenham, as you can see, that was Celine Bizet trying her luck. Charlton really been restricted to half chances. Yellow card there for Sumanen. This was as good as it got for the visitors, really. Not able to threaten Becky Spencer yet. Yeah, cheeky chip almost resulted in a goal. But really, it's been speculative efforts more often than not. Schwang off target there when well placed. No goals yet then. That'll do fine for Charlton Athletic. Let's see if they can spring an upset when the second half gets underway soon. Swept in behind and on the run, here goes Garcia. She manages to get the wrong side of the Newcastle defence, but she can't pick out Paris. Here comes Toon, lovely effort on goal, and a fine strike from the England international. It's taken a while, but Manchester United do have the vital goal here, and they lead against Newcastle. And it's Ella Toon who is the one to provide it here. What a wonderful goal. One goal in it. Could be three more for Manchester City, though. Could they have another hit? It's pinged off and in. Manchester City double their lead. Jill Rod with the goal. Her first goal for Manchester City in the FA Cup. And it pings off the woodwork and in. Unfortunate for Durham. There was absolutely nothing that the Durham keeper could have done about that. City Lionesses are now racing away with this Adobe Women's oh, FA Cup tie. Your We've seen some goals, but this is the pick of the bunch. Just beyond the reach of Rose Kite, the diving goalkeeper. That's it. The same possession there. Kelly chips the ball up. Laura Coombs finds the back of the net. McAloon was reaching for it. Her fourth goal of the season in all competition. 
coming off the underside of the bar by the looks of things. And the three-time FA Cup winners have the early lead here at Maiden Castle. West Ham don't have a decent record against Chelsea. Saeed with the effort and with the opening goal. Against the run of play, West Ham take the lead. A hopeful ball over the top. She was in behind. And a fine effort into the bottom corner. Well, she was in behind Buchanan. A decent first touch and an even better second touch. She knew exactly what she wanted to do. Across the face of goal, Musevic unable to keep the ball at bay. Slide into the middle. Opportunity here for Arsenal. It's three. And Arsenal are absolutely rampant. And Stina Blackstenius off the bench to score with her first touch. And that was the definition of a cool, calm finish. Boy, hello, Ka. That is an incisive pass. This could be the chance. Well, it's a cruel blow for Manifield. Right to the end of half time, just before the whistle. It's curled into the far corner by London City Lionesses. This was the ball. Boy Haloka fed it through. And Little John following up after Fitzgerald couldn't do too much with the pass. with the turn and the equaliser the substitute strikes and Chelsea are back in this cup contest it has been coming and with a little over 20 minutes to play Chelsea have an equaliser it was headed back into the danger zone it was a decent turn a swivel and a fine finish from the official who grabs her second Chelsea goal. it over the keeper well she did a whole lot in that attack starting it picking up on Lauren Hemp's ball over the defenders and then doing the same to the Durham keeper who just watched it loop over the top of it
Well, Robert Villaham clearly not impressed with what he saw from his team in the first half. Then he's made two changes at the break. Jessica Naz has come on in midfield in place of Grace Clinton. And Martha Thomas, who's been banging them in for fun this season, is on for Wang Shuang. So it'll be Thomas and England paired in attack. And Tottenham find a breakthrough. It's going pretty well for Charlton so far. They've not offered much of a threat themselves, but managed to keep the door shut which is half the battle remember extra time and penalties a possibility here tonight we must have a winner to see who goes through to the quarterfinals the draw for which will be made on monday evening in the uk part of the one show on bbc one expected to be around 7 20 the draw will be made no changes for charlton then they're going to get the second half underway Here come Charlton straight from kickoff. And across straight into Becky Spencer's gloves. Here's Celine Bizet, the Norwegian. Bula. Interesting to see if Spurs come out quickly at the start of the second half, having been a little sluggish. of the Spurs changes see if they can have an immediate impact here again is that he's England nice and giving it short to Sumanen Nilden now plenty forward in this Spurs attack needs a good cross got one from Nilden too oh and at the back post Bizet. Well, it just hit her and it's winded her over the head of Bethany, England. And attacked it with gusto and Bissette got that all wrong. She'll be fine now. Looking for a first goal of the season, Celine Bissette in the FA Cup. Gray wisely in no rush to get the ball forward, just frustrate Tottenham a little bit and eat up a few seconds. only beaten in one of their 11 away games this season and that was against the WSL side at West Ham in the Conti Cup way back in October. They've won 
six of their last seven on the road. And they're proving a tough nut for Tottenham to crack at the moment. In Charlotte Grant. Bartrip. Slid out to Grant again. Crossed it with her left. Now it's the half time substitute for an Arsenal player. Bula. Grant nicely stepped away from a couple of challenges. Bizet put the cross in. And Thomas was looking to volley it in. Tottenham looking bright at the start of the second period. Naz taking on McGowan, managing to get the crossover. That was a uh, unorthodox but effective header from Sophie O'Rourke. First meeting of these two teams since Spurs won a Conti Cup tie in 2021 by a goal to nil. And they were unbeaten in the last three matches between these sides. Through the middle for Naz to chase. She's quick enough to get there. Thomas is in the middle. And Alicia and uh, or Frieda Aisi, I should say, back there defending. Did enough. Skills forward. They will play it down the line. Was that kept in? Chatham want a free kick. They will get one as well. Will they know it's a Spurs throw? Chance for Charlton here, maybe. Needs a good pass, and it got one to Tegan McGowan. What can she do here? McGowan dropping the shoulder, going for goal. Not a bad effort at all, that. Looking to make it goals in successive games, having scored in the league against Lewis last weekend. Shown a lot of that far side of the goal by Spencer. Charlton ought to be a confident team. They're top of the championship. Only lost once in the league all season. That was way back in September. Milton's ball forward, looking for England. Here's AEC. Needs some help here. She's done well for your AEC. Skills. Trying to flick to get her away, not quite. Hey. 
is at. Thomas. Had a glance into the path of Naz from Nilden. England waiting for a cross here. Oh, that could have been really awkward for Jessica Gray. Did she stop that going behind for a corner? Apparently so. Big deflection on the delivery from Naz. Possible to tell from that angle, so I'll trust that the decision was the correct one. Thomas didn't quite run for her. Got Grant backing her up. Aitinen got it back. Chance to shoot here for Aitinen. Blocked by Skeels. Just feels like Tottenham are building up ahead of steam at the moment. Can Charlton keep them at bay? Here's Bula. Tottenham wants a corner. They aren't going to get it. Has generally been pretty good at home this season. A couple of defeats to Manchester City and one to Manchester United. A thumping here, actually, 4 0 in December. Thomas finding England. She couldn't find the target. Again, they appeal for a corner. Well, this is what I think Robert Villaham wanted the link up play between Thomas and England. It almost bore fruit. for Kate Longhurst. Naz, has she got the pace to get there before and Dow? She did. How's the cross? Just too close to Gray, but she's really added something, hasn't she, Jessica Naz? That direct running and crossing ability already causing Charlton some problems. Longhurst. Aisi. Oh, nicely done by McGowan. Barton's cross. Ends up in the gloves of Spencer. Stepping in front of the ball, stopping Suman and taking the free kick quickly. Naz. Just skipped off the turf as Bizet was looking to get on the end of the pack.
taken away by Barton. Wheeler's touch was poor though. Bizet. Nice turn from McGowan, who's growing in influence in this game. That's just too difficult for Barton to control, though. Dula. Is that trying to slide it down the line? Again, Sophia Rourke was alive to the danger. Played for an hour, still no sign of a breakthrough. As it stands, we'll have extra time and possibly penalties. One way traffic though since half time, all Spurs. Simanen. Chance for a shot here. A hasty turn in Simanen. What can Charlton do? McGowan will have to stretch to get that. She can't quite catch up to it. Surely offside, even if she had got on the end of that. And doubt. McGowan tripped by Simanen, who's on a yellow card. More changes coming up for Spurs as they struggle to make the breakthrough here against the championship side. It's Bula coming off and Amy James Turner will replace her. And Celine Bazette also giving way so that the Swedish international Matilda Vinberg can come on. Another January signing for Spurs. Won the Swedish Cup last year actually with Hammerby. a change of their own. Frida Aisi is being withdrawn. And Rebecca McKenna will come on and take her place. McKenna, the Northern Ireland internationally came in from Lewis in the summer. So Spurs have made four changes already. Be interesting if we do go to extra time. Still half an hour or so for somebody to win this. Yes. Smacked it forward. England couldn't quite take it under control. Grant. Grant. 
Thomas. I see him. Must play him first time this time. Skewed off the head of Sophia Rule. Picked up by Grant. James Turner. Actually, it's been a fairly turbulent time for Amy James Turner. Her wife, Ankara James, has left Tottenham to move to America to join Seattle Rain last month. Good run here from Nilden. Can she pick the pass? She has for Bethany England, who struck the bar. Second time in the game, Spurs have hit the woodwork. Thomas trying to keep it alive. Look at the frustration for England. Well, that's the best bit of play Spurs have put together in some time. Uh, it so nearly resulted in the opening goal for Bethany England. Naz on the right for the moment. Grant up there with her. Poor, poor pass that from Jessica Naz. Simple to execute, should have done way better. Come Spurs again. Bimberg couldn't keep it in. Might just take one moment of quality to win this game. And it's a match that's been short of it so far. attention I thought it was the initial challenge or the landing either way it's hurt her See what happens, see if we can work out how she got hurt. Yeah, it's what happened on the way down rather than the initial challenge, I think.
Final change coming up for Tottenham. You see Kit Graham for, I was going to say, the final 20 minutes, but at the moment we're going to play for half an hour more than that. Simon is not going to be able to continue. So Kit Graham comes on against their old club, came through the Charlton Academy, signed for Tottenham from them in 2019. All five Spurs changes made now. So Spurs free kick then. Binberg over it. And James Turner got something on it. And she's again James Turner. Won't be able to catch up to that. It's looking a bit short of ideas at the moment, Tottenham. It's going to be a yellow card for time wasting here for taking too long. Taking the throw in, Sophie O'Rourke. I don't think she can be surprised about that. It's a little bit early for Charlton to already be starting time wasting tactics. That went out of play, surely. Thomas, nicely done. Reverse ball looking for Naz. And Dow able to get there before her. Sixth corner for Tottenham. First one saw them hit the crossbar. Subsequent haven't really troubled Charlton. Oh, that's a really good ball. It begged for a touch from somebody. And if Bartrick managed to get anything on that, it would have been 1 0. It's a delicious delivery. Charlton change or two of them incoming here. It's the end of the afternoon for McGowan. Melissa Johnson and Melissa Phils are the players coming on. Phyllis, I should say. Johnson, who is the uh, nominal striker for this team normally. She's got braces in both rounds of the competition so far. And Phyllis on loan from West Ham. She's done the tour of London, former Arsenal and London Bees player.
Thomas. Here's Naz cutting in field. Jessica Naz. Didn't manage to get the power she was looking for. Confirmation that it was Mia Rossi, the player who went off in that change for Charlton. Spurs won't want this to go to extra time because the longer they go without scoring, the more confidence Charlton will get, even though they're not threatening at all at the other end. James Turner. Grant. Nilden. Lindbergh there if she wants. James Turner. Kick Graham. There's the breakthrough for Tottenham. And it had to be, didn't it? Against their old club. Kick Graham, who came through the Charlton Academy with a dagger to the heart of her old club. And finally, Tottenham get the breakthrough. It's taken them 76 minutes of persistent pummeling their opponent. But it's a substitute who steps off the bench and thumps one beyond Jessica Gray. Tottenham Hotspur 1, Charlton Athletic nil. Now, what can Charlton do? They've been defending. They had their focus on that for the entirety of the second half. They've got fewer than 15 minutes to try and find themselves an equaliser now. to show a bit more attacking intent, the championship leaders. Well, it's not been pretty from Spurs, but they won't mind about that whatsoever if they go through. All about getting a place in the last eight. Grant. Nicely done from Jessica Naz. taken by Kira Skills there and you can understand why there's another Tottenham corner if they get a second goal surely that's that Finberg the player who's going to take this one
Oh, it's gone all the way through, and again, it just begged for the touch. And again, it was bar trip at the back post. You couldn't apply it. Naz, good ball, and well defended as well by Alicia Dow. I think of all the substitutions that Spurs have made, even though Graham's got the goal, Naz has maybe been the most impressive. Lovely throw. And the ball boy. Finberg again with the chance to send one in. Can Bartrip connect this time? Oh, no volley. Smacked nearly out of the stadium, that one. Is one going to be enough for Spurs here? It certainly looks that way. not been able to get anything going really have they up front in the second half a couple of half chances in the first half Charlton but really not threatened only failed to score once in 20 games in all competitions this season Thomas England didn't get the weight of the pass right, but Spurs can still come forward. Here's Naz. Good work backtracking from Jessica Naz. I think she's made a good case to start in Spurs' next, next game, which is against Villa on Sunday. Then they go to the Emirates to play Arsenal. Double change here for Charlton. One last roll of the dice as Mary Bashford and Karen Muya come on. Rourke, who's on a yellow card, one of those who went off there. Former Spurs player Angela Addison also withdrawn. Is in doubt. Let's feel of the ball for Bashford. Opportunity here for Charlton, maybe. Shoot is the cry. A couple of deflections on it could have made it awkward for Spencer. Instead, Muir's shot rolls harmlessly through to her. Grant.
Well, they've got to start being a bit more direct, I think, here, Charlton. This is in doubt. Phyllis. Five minutes plus stoppages to go. Charlton's status in the FA Cup hanging by a thread. Spurs closing in on a first win in four. McKenna. Barton. Oh, I think that might have come back off her last, did it? Specifically came off her head. She's going to need some help. For Charlton, they host Reading on Sunday. Then they go to Watford in the league. Well, Karen Hills offering some final words of encouragement. Still time for her to have the last laugh on her return to Tottenham. Now then, Johnson trying to get on the end of it, just a little too much weight on the pass. And now Spence has taken a blow to the face. And they're not happy with Johnson. Thomas is absolutely furious. I think she was entitled to go for the ball. It's all flaring up a little bit. What action is referee Lisa Ben going to take? Well, we only got the live view of it, but it didn't look like Johnson was trying to hurt Spencer. Doesn't mean she didn't, of course. Doesn't look as if there's going to be any further action against Melissa Johnson. More immediate concern is for the welfare of Becky Spencer. A yellow card for Johnson. That's it. At least sitting up. how it happened oh, well looking at it again she immediately offered a hand of apology well only she knows really what the intention was there
Spence is back up on her feet, thankfully. And Johnson belatedly goes to offer an apology, which uh, Spencer graciously accepts. Well, given how the rest of the game's gone, it's not like she's going to be tested for what remains of the match, so she should be OK. Charlton might as well shoot on sight just to see how she's doing. We've got nine minutes of stoppage time here, so Charlton's still alive. puts her foot through it. James Turner. Playing it forward, Phyllis, chance for a shot here for Bashford, Spencer beat it down. Well, that's not far off, the closest they've come to scoring today, Charlton. Bashford the substitute trying to look from 25 yards. Longhurst working it for Endow. Bashford. Longhurst. It's Barton. Now a bit of space here, needs a good delivery. Spencer being tested. Able to pluck it from the sky. Berg. England waiting for the delivery, which never came. Good defending from Beth Rowe, who was then fouled. He's coming over to the touchline here. It's going to be a yellow card for somebody on the Spurs bench. Spurs dithering. And Charlton almost able to profit. They still might. Nas did just enough. Phyllis with the foul this time just to break up Charlton's momentum. 
Still got four and a half minutes to go. throw it's good defending here's England Spurs just need to hold on to the ball Naz has dropped back into a more defensive position now Oh, England was about to run through on goal there. That's got to be a yellow card for Barton. She felt it was necessary to stop England having a clear sight of goal. told to move 10 yards away from the ball so Graham can take the free kick. James Turner. Slightly risky pass. Turned into a good one. Now Thomas on the chase, she won't get to that though. Charlton's still alive, but only just. Two minutes to save themselves in the FA Cup. And now's with the foul. Might as well get everybody forward for this. Another injury problem for Spurs. Leighton and the player down this time. Card to Naz. Probably the last chance here then. Oh, and that's going back towards the Spurs goal. Oh, it's nearly an own goal. Incredible. Charlton almost got themselves an equaliser in the ninth minute of stoppage time. They still might because they've got a corner. Well, that would have been extraordinary. Goalkeeper's coming up. Can Jess Gray be the hero? She's in there attacking it. The shot blocked at the edge of the box, but it still found its way through. Appeals for handball from the Spurs players. Did look like there was one. Oh, just for a moment there. It looked like the referee had pointed to the penalty spot. She said, handball, but by a Spurs player, which is what we all saw. But that was not good signalling from the referee because she pointed out the penalty spot. And she could laugh about it now, and we all can, maybe not Charlton. But just for a moment, Tottenham Hearts were very much in mouths. But that should be that. We've had over the nine minutes now. 
It's not been a classic performance from Tottenham by any stretch of the imagination, but that's not what it's going to say when the draw is made on Monday. It's going to say Tottenham are in it. Now's with the flick on. Here goes England. And the corner for Spurs will do if there's time to take it as we tick over to 100 minutes. Absolutely no rush to get this taken for obvious reasons. Graham, for equally obvious reasons, not keen to put it in the box. There's the final whistle. Tottenham Hotspur do go through to the last eight of the Adobe Women's FA Cup. They made hard work of this, though, against the championship leaders. Substitute Kit Graham with the only goal of the game on 76 minutes against her old club. Spurs huffed and puffed. Charlton didn't offer much going the other way, but there was almost an own goal that got them back level right at the end. Final score at Brisbane Road. Tottenham Hotspur 1, Charlton Athletic move. These were the key moments of the match. Almost had a goal in the opening couple of minutes. Had a glance off the crossbar by Simanen. And then Beth England really ought to have scored there, but headed wide with the goal gaping. This was Celine Bizet, four slightly wide by the pass. Decent effort just over the bar. A cheeky chip almost made it 1-0 for Aitonen. As you can see, Tottenham did have lots of chances in the first half. But more often than not, their shooting was wayward. Into the second, McGowan with a good opportunity of her own creation. It was Spurs who asked most of the questions, albeit their shooting boots were mislaid for not a lot of the night. There's England hitting the crossbar again. Jessica Naz did well after her half-time introduction. That was her effort. But the only goal of the game was this one. Kit Graham stepping off the bench to win it against her old team. Just far enough away from the grasp of Gray. Charlton did have chances to equalise. That was Bashford just off the bench. And then almost an own goal right at the end. Not that it was. who almost embarrassed herself. But it's Tottenham who go through to Monday's draw then. Thanks for your company this evening. It finished at Brisbane Road. Tottenham Hotspur 1, Charlton Athletic North.